Elk Shape YouTube. Welcome back, Tim here. Guess what? I elk hunt too. And in fact, it's a huge passion of mine and probably the main reason Dan and I met. Heard about this guy doing this Elk Shape podcast, reached out to him, here we are. Anyway, elk hunting is near and dear to my heart. September is right around the corner. In fact, it might be here. And I just wanted to give you some of my lessons learned from a former flatlander. I grew up in Northern Michigan. They call them mountains, but we had these little hills. And those little hills are fun to play around in. They're fun to four wheel in. But when you go hunting, it is very different hunting out West, especially the steeps of Northern Idaho, especially the steeps of Southeastern Idaho, Colorado, wherever you go, chances are you're gonna run into some really steep hills. So let me paint a picture really quick for you because this story is awesome. My first time elk hunting, we scout out this spot. I roll in with my dad. We get around the backside of this spot and I'm like, hey, why don't we pitch out a bugle here and see what happens? I bugle, wham, a elk hammers back. Do it again, and elk hammers back. I looked at my dad, our eyes were huge, and we knew nothing more than to go chase this elk. And what we should have done was look at, we should have looked at our phones, looked at the topo maps, and figured out what was going on. Because we went straight down a canyon, straight up the other side, and by the time we got there, we were totally exhausted. The moral of the story is, lessons learned from a flatlander, pay attention to topography. Spend a lot of time looking at maps. Learn what those topo lines do. The further apart they are, the softer the slope is. You wanna travel on soft slopes. You wanna travel like the elk do. If you find an elk trail, turn your tracker on, walk that elk trail, and you're doing two things. You're mapping an elk trail, and you're also learning how to travel in the mountains because elk know how to travel in the mountains. They are the experts. In fact, you might start following an elk trail and wonder and wonder what's going on, but trust me, they're using the most effective route and they're traveling for a purpose. My number one thing that I would hope for all of you coming out west to hunt elk is that you learn how to use topo maps because they're also excellent to locate elk. Elk are gonna travel the path of least resistance. Elk are gonna hang out on north facing slopes when it's hot and dry. Elk eventually need water. Elk eventually need to eat. And you can figure a lot of that out from the maps. A lot of these guys that are really good at Western hunting, not me, I'm just, I'm just learning, but they're also excellent at reading maps. And the better you get at reading maps, the less you're gonna burn up your hard wasted fuel running around the mountains, and you're gonna spend your time in higher density elk places. The other thing I'll say is a brand new elk hunter, you gotta switch out of whitetail mode. Whitetail mode is the literal killer of an elk hunter. Elk hunters are the opposite of whitetail hunters. Whitetail hunters hang out in trees, they don't make any noise. If they're stalking for deer, they're making very little noise. When you're hunting elk, you can move like an elk. Elk are big bodied animals, they make noise and they're not gonna be afraid if they hear some branches cracking. Now, it's different if you're calling elk in solo, you gotta get tight, but you can make some noise, basically until you see the elk. Once the elk can see you, they wanna know what's there. But do yourself a favor, travel with a purpose, and save your energy because a two week elk hunt can really burn it up. Eat a lot of food, dope your gear as best you can. It's a process learning to elk hunt. I'm still in the middle of it. I'm certainly not an expert. I've spent enough time hoofing the hills and wasting my energy that I wanted to get out here and just let you guys know that. So one really cool thing about the elk shape community is there are a lot of people out there that are really good hunters and archers. I'm curious what you guys learned in your first couple of years of elk hunting Leave it below in the comments. Let us know your favorite elk hunting tips, whether that's traveling through the hills, finding elk, getting an elk back to the truck. Let us know what works for you. Do us a favor. If you like this kind of stuff, if you're into DIY, blue collar, elk hunting, public land elk hunting, archery stuff, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and we will catch you back for the next video.